Yeah. You know, and then, and then we've talked about sort of like integrated plasmonics, which to me is like the most, it's the risky integrated plasmonics. Plasmonics. So this is the company, I think we talked about this briefly, but it is the probably the single riskiest thing that we've done. We've invested inordinately large amounts of money. We'll keep doing it. It may fail. The likelihood is that it's going to work. It's already working, but I mean really work at scale. And they've taken camera chip and they've refactored that into a little cube that can, with a drop of your blood, tell you what's happening inside your body. You want to take a heart panel, you want to take an enzyme test, you want to test yourself at home to make sure that you can be the best you, crowdsource all of these things, figure out ways where people with your physiology, your ethnicity, your age, you know, your body mass composition, how they've taken steps to improve their being with simple small changes, understand all of that, know that in real time. Yeah. I think we're, I think we're kidding ourselves when we think like, you know, none of us care and like even if like we're really no, in I know, shape, I know, I, we I all know care. My wife lost uh, 30 pounds with her Fitbit, right? And that's a very crude device compared to what you just described. <laughs> yeah, but now imagine marrying those two things up. Our, yeah. you know, our view isn't our view of the world is things like Fitbit are incredible. The job on up amazing products that people Nike fuel bands but marry them with something that then also gives you insight to the inside of your body.